everyone. Welcome to the KHS Weekly. I'm Michaela Bello, and the show starts right now. Hey, welcome back to the show, everybody. Alongside Nicholas Sameto, I'm Nicole Fatzer, and thanks for joining us. Thanks to Sarah Wong and Justin Van E. Kirk for that intro. Without a doubt, Sarah is an exceptional pianist, and thanks for playing our intro. This episode of KHS Weekly is for the week of October 31st through November 4th. As we get started, please listen carefully as we have a ton of announcements to get to. As always, be sure to check with your activity advisors, check the KHS website, and listen to the end of school announcements as meetings are subject to change. Okay, we all hope you enjoyed your Halloween. And just like that, we say so long to the month of October and welcome in November. October was an excellent month here at KHS, and November is full with activities and a couple breaks throughout the month. Reminder, continue to work hard and allow time for reflection and moments of giving thanks. Just an FYI, the first quarter comes to a close end of the week, and we'll begin the second quarter. Also, early reminder, next week is a short week. School is not in session Thursday, November 10th and Friday, November 11th. And then again, later in the month, school will not be in session during the Thanksgiving weekend. Attention all drivers. Certainly with cooler temps, wet roads, be mindful while on the roads and drive with care and caution. School news. Hey, here are a few school updates and acknowledgments that have happened recently at KHS. Awesome job to all who participated for the Halloween Spirit Week event. Your participation was appreciated. Moving things along. The Kinelon High School Student of the Week is Junior Hayden Burt. I read something I wasn't supposed to. She was nominated for our faculty and selected for the recognition based on her positive uh, attitude, integrity, leadership, and service to others. As a junior, Hayden is already taking Calculus AP BC and says her favorite subjects are math and English. Outside of school, Hayden competes on the cross-country team, which wrapped up an undefeated conference championship recently. She helps with the annual Town Library book sale, likes to listen to classic rock. Her favorite taste sandwich is the Panola's Package. The Student of the Week program seeks to recognize and reward students who make positive contributions to KHS. Students selected for Student of the Week honors receive school-wide recognition and an invitation to attend an end-of-year luncheon celebrating their selection for the honor. This week, we celebrate Hayden for her incredible spirit and strong character. We are proud and grateful for her presence at KHS. The K Kinelon High School Teacher of the Week is Mr. Cataldi. Congratulations to Kinelon High School Educator of the Week, John Cataldi. He was nominated and selected for this honor as a result of his contributions to our students and school community. Mr. Cataldi, who is the lead teacher of World Languages, enthusiastically instructs Novice Spanish 1, Spanish 2 CP, Introduction to College Spanish Honors, and Spanish 5 Honors. Outside of the classroom, Mr. Cataldi is the head coach of the girls' tennis team, which won the state and conference championships this year, and the boys' tennis team also conference champions this year. He is the chair of the Kia uh, Leans uh, Committee to the Board of Education and serves on the district Evaluation Advisory Committee and the District Technology Committee. We are so grateful for Mr. Cataldi and we appreciate his commitment for making Kinelon High School such a special educational environment. A big thanks to producers Fredo Jasper and Elaine Nunez for prov providing this video footage and thanks to Mr. Smith for the awesome science experiments. Congratulations to the following elected Spanish Honor Society officers. President Angelica Fiza. Vice President Callie Cronin. Secretary Olivia Eckstein. Treasurer Augie Scorzo. Co-Treasurer Katie Remsen. These officers will have a mandatory meeting with Senora White on Thursday, November 3rd in room 303. Switching things up a bit. Attention all interested in purchasing a yearbook. The yearbook is on sale for $105 until December 5th and the price will increase to $120 after December 5th. Then from February 15th to June, the price is $140. There is tons of yearbook info located on the KHS website. There's a link on the site for www.yearbookordercenter.com and enter school code 13317. Moving along. Attention all, the Give Back Club has once again teamed up with Mr. Scott Aiken and his Shelter Our Soldiers Foundation. The goal is to bring some holiday cheer to New Jersey's homeless veterans. 
Throughout November, the club will be collecting personal hygiene items, books, gum, and bottled water. Items can be dropped off in Mr. Buse's office in the guidance department or in room 212. Any questions can be directed to Ms. Erin Scheibling via email at scheiblinge at kinelon.org. And now, here are a few after-school activity announcements. Attention sophomores, student council officers, and representatives. There will be a meeting after school on Tuesday, November 1st in room 215. See Mr. Del Piano with any questions. Attention all, the French Honor Society is holding a donation as we enter a very thankful month. Please consider being generous, especially after the aftermath of the Hurricane Matthew in the Caribbean's where UNICEF is actively helping out. You can stop by room 305 to donate. Here are a few athletic announcements. Congratulations, girls tennis team. The girls tennis team finished an amazing season by winning the state championship, the first time the team has won this title since 1976. Congratulations to the team, Coach Cataldi and Coach Lanza and all of the girls. Congratulations, girls soccer player Sarah Racine. She scored three goals in the last Wednesday's game against Boonton High School, bringing her season total to 33. And broke the school's single season scoring record. The former record of 32 goals was first set in 2006 by Lauren Malski and tied last year by Ida DiClemente. Girls soccer will play its first state tournament game at PRM on Tuesday, November 1st against Wallkill Valley at 2 p.m. Shout out to Coach White and the football team uh, earning the homecoming victory the past weekend. Nice job Joey Remars filling in at quarterback and punching in the touchdown and Calvin Krippner snagging the two-point conversion. Again, nice job by the Colts defense holding Packsack Hill to just six points to a late touchdown. And junior Tim Elefante coming up with the goal line tackle, stopping the two-point conversion and securing the Colts' victory. Good luck to all of our fall teams competing in their respective state tournaments. Do your best. As always, good luck to all of our fall athletes and teams. Follow all sports schedules, updates, and activities on, on Twitter at KHS underscore sports. Stay updated with all things on KHS on our district webpage, and be sure to subscribe to the KHS YouTube channel. Today's show is directed by Aly Alyssa Madison. Our technical director was Andrew Joskowitz. Our video producer was Michael Sabo. Our audio operator was Christian Bellini. Today's show is produced by Michaela Bello and Greg Poposki. That's it for this. Have a tremendous this week. Have a tremendous week. <laughs> be respectful, be kind. Peace, everyone.